Meanwhile, back in Queen's Park, crowds are gathering as the Garden City puts on the show that it's known for, the Toowoomba Carnival of Flowers. So this is the event's 72nd year. It's not bad, is it? It's absolutely amazing. I don't know whether I get more sentimental the older I get, but you know, I think you know, coming up here today and, and, and enjoying the beautiful uh, bright colours of Mother Nature. I mean, this is the thing, it's natural, right? 100%. Yeah. Yep. You know, Mother Nature can put on a show like that is quite incredible. And I think, you know, it, we are living in strange days, so it's a perfect event. It's open air, it's spread, it's free. fresh air, it's free, yeah. and it's beautiful. Yeah, it is really beautiful. What started out as a celebration to boost the city's economy after the hardships of World War II is now one of the city's largest and long-running festivals, attracting close to 200,000 visitors each year. It's held across the city's parks and gardens, and many of the local residents also throw open their gates, but Queen's Park is definitely the HQ and comes with its own Ferris wheel, which is a real magnet. But I reckon the donut guy is attracting his fair share of revellers as well. And they don't come any fresher. It's really hard to get a good, fresh, hot cinnamon donut anywhere these days. But I can tell you, if you're coming to Queen's Park at Toowoomba, come and see these lovely people, they will sort you out. These are good. Yep, flowers and donuts. There's nothing sweeter.